Time for some styling and profiling. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Bad Cube Steamroll. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front here, just Bad Cube Warrior Steamroll. He is part of the Justice Force. On the side of the box, Justice Force. On the other side of the box, we have Steamroll. We have Bad Cube. Steamroll on the back. You have some very nice artwork there of Steamroll. You got his tech specs. You got a bio here. We'll see it again. And that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is not one but two cards. You get two cards. Hooray! One a very uh, masterpiece card, even though masterpiece cards don't look like this anymore. But hey, and the other one with that nice artwork again. And on the back, you have. Expects you have the bio there if you want to read it. So hooray, hooray for cards. And moving right along, here we have Steamroll, and this is Bad Cube's take on a Masterpiece Sideswipe. And I know, we already have a Masterpiece Sideswipe, but I guess they figured, well, Takara's redoing their Masterpiece figure, so let's give them a hand. So, yeah, new Sideswipe. But um, here he is in his vehicle mode, and it's very nicely done, in my opinion. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You got some silver right up front. You have the transparent plastic over the silver detailings there for the headlights. Um, I really like the blue uh, windshield and windows. I think that looks really nice. It really pops. I really dig that. Got some black up top. You do have... Silver rims, uh, the tires are rubber. And just going down the body of the car here. Got some nice detailing. And the back, you got the taillights picked out in paint as well. There is the underside, everything is concealed pretty well. He rolls, how's rolling thing should, hooray for rolling. And for comparison, really the only comparison that matters is with the official masterpiece side swipe. And as you can see, they are pretty much identical in size there. A um, bit more black paint on the official one. And obviously you have the darker windshields there as opposed to the blue. But size-wise, pretty much identical. Now, as far as how does Bad Cube Sun Surge and Masterpiece Sun Streaker scale with this guy, well, <laughs> all these Masterpiece scaled Lambo bots are based off of this particular scale for this particular model of Lamborghini. So, you've seen one, you've seen them all. So, there you go. Now, you do have some features here in the vehicle mode. You can open up the, uh, the front here. If you get your nail in there, you can open that up. You can just see the robot head in there but you can open those up you can also open up the doors again that's just revealing robot parts you can wave at you now hi how are you but you know you can <laughs> open up the doors there if you want which is pretty cool and you do have a second set of headlights uh to get to them you do have to uh untab the wheel here and bring it up and get it out of the way and you have to push it up from underneath and you can get those headlights to pop up, which is pretty cool. Sometimes this will get stuck, so you have to kind of get in here and just kind of move that hinge. Boop, there you go. So you can push that back down. But yeah, you do have those extra headlights there as well. So yeah, that's pretty cool. As far as accessories go, uh, pretty much all of the accessories are meant for robot mode. Um, his gun does store right under here and this bit right here this white bit is his uh, shoulder weapon so it's pretty cool that all of his weapons do store in the vehicle mode it's really cool how they engineered that so yeah that is pretty much it for the vehicle mode very nicely done in my opinion so let's get down to transformation shall we let's so first thing you want to do is you do want to bring up the doors like so and you want to take this whole roof section here and you want to pull it up because this does tab into what will be the legs so that frees up the legs. Then you want to take these sections here and you want to just untab them from either side. 
like so. Get all that out. You want to come back here to the spoiler and you want to just split that down the middle. And it's on a slider, so you just take each half and slide it out like so. And then at this point, you can split the legs and they will just extend downward. This side likes to get stuck. Come on, come on. There we go. And just extend down like so, and you can see where his gun ends up, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's kind of unfortunate, but hey, that's how it works. But anyway, we'll just pull that out, <laughs> put that off to the side, and we will get started working on his legs here. So transform the legs. You want to take this black panel here and just pull this whole assembly up like that. This section will rotate out to the side a little bit, so you can take this section and just flip it down. You can flip up the foot and open up what will be his toes there. Then you take the heel and that will swing around. And then you can take the foot and just rotate it around like that. You got that part done. And you come under here, you flip out this black panel, you flip in this red panel, flip in this red panel right there, and then this peg will go right into that port right there, and you can close all this up, just make sure you have everything nice and straightened out, and there you have a leg, all done, second verse is just like the first, so let me just open this up, Flip out the foot, bring that out, flip that down, open up his toe, bring around the heel, rotate that around, flip out the panel, flip up this panel, and just peg that into the side, close it all up, and there you have the legs all done. And moving on to the upper body. Uh, you just want to come right up under here. This section just pegs in right here, so you want to pop that up like that. And all this will just come up like so. You can raise this up the rest of the way. You can see the slider that this is on. So you can just raise that up the rest of the way like that. You can then take this assembly here. Oh, first you want to undo the wheels. So untab the wheels, bring them up and rotate them in. Untab, bring them up, rotate in, and now this whole assembly will come down like that. And at this point, uh, we'll work on the head. You can see his head is just kind of <laughs> split open there. Yeah, just bring down the top of his head, and also the back of his head is, you can see, there we go. The back of his head is also a separate piece here that you have to flip up, like so. And once you do that, you can then turn the head around and slide it forward until it clicks into place. And then you take this whole assembly here and you just rotate it around like so. Just leave those wheels up. Um, these little bits right here are meant for the uh, red alert version of the mold. Just make sure those stay down. And no, I did not get red alert because I don't care. I <laughs> don't care about red alert. Sorry. But um, we'll just leave that hanging there for now. At this point now, these sections you want to just bring up so they untab from the arms. Let's untab that. At this point now, you can take the shoulders, just bring them down, bring them up on these sliders. And these sections here of the hood are just going to compress in like that. You can take this whole assembly here and just raise it up. Then you take this assembly here, bring it down. You want to make sure that the shoulders, the shoulder assemblies sit inside the wheel wells. That's a very important step, so make sure you do that, otherwise you won't be able to get those shoulders up. So make sure those are sitting in the proper place. And then you just bring up this whole faux hood assembly here. That will just tab in, and you can bring the head back like that. You come back here, 
to his uh, shoulder launcher and you can bring this armature up between the wheels make sure that sits over that panel right there swing it over to the side and then you just take this bit right here just get that out of the way the two halves will come together and peg in like that and you just take this bit and just collapse it down like so and there you have a shoulder launcher so once you do that you take the shoulders and they will just tab in right there and right there and at this point now we can take the whole upper body and just collapse it down like so so now that we've done that what should we do now ah let's just finish off the backpack yeah let's finish off that backpack so these little bits right here you just want to just flip these in these little posts right here you want to bring these out bring that out and you want to bring this panel down and these two upper ports right here are going to go over these pegs so they just sit right there and then as you bring it out they just kind of seat themselves bring that up and then you can just take this and compress it in and there you have the backpack all done so last thing we need to do is just get the alms done so I'm just kind of leave the door open so you have room to operate and you just extend the arms down you bring down the hand rotate the fist we can close this up now and now for the shoulders you just bring up this panel it's on a slider just slide it over like so this little panel comes up bring that up and then this panel will come over and tab right in and that makes a shoulder I really like that. I don't know why, but I really like that. <laughs> oh, and also you want to take the uh, windows here and they will just compress against the back of the forearm. And you have an arm all done. Second of us, just like the fast. So just extend the arm down. Bring down the hand. Rotate. Close that up. And just collapse that window down. Bring up the panel. Slide it over. Lift this up, bring it over, tab that in, and I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Woo, we're done. And there you have Steamroll, aka Sideswipe, in his robot mode. And a really good looking Sideswipe, in my opinion. It's definitely going for that more cartoony vibe that the uh, Masterpiece toys are going for now. So it definitely fits with the current aesthetic. And um, I think it looks quite good. So let's get in close here so we can take a look now at his chest, at his noggin. There it is. And a very nicely done head sculpt. You got some gray right there on the forehead. Nice silver for the face, blue for the eyes. Pretty nicely done head sculpt there. You got the shoulder launcher. And all around, nicely designed, in my opinion, anyway. Got some silver there on the knees. His white feet. Bring his toes up all the way. There we go. And the back is pretty clean. As always, cat hair not included. Get out of here! But yeah. All in all, Quite cool, in my opinion. Now, articulation-wise, he can look up, he can look down, head can do a full 360. Shoulders can do a full 360 on a ratchet, can go in and out. You do have bicep rotation. You have a single joint at the elbow, but you do get nice full range of movement there. You do have wrist rotation. The hands can open and close. You do have waist rotation. Legs. Can move forward that far back that far outward that far you got thigh rotation 90 degrees of bend at the knee and the feet can move up they can move down and you have your ankle tiltage there and of course we can give him his gun you can see it all folded up here you just flip down the handle flip down the barrel and there you have his gun done in a nice silver and we can take this and it's the typical tab in the slot in the palm method and he does hold that nice and securely so now he can pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang 
So there we have him all armed up. So now let's talk about accessories. So he does include quite a few uh, what the instructions call excavating tools. And uh, to use these, we do have to do a little bit of prep work here. So you want to open up his forearm here. You want to open up his hand and then rotate it so it's palm down. And then just flip his hand in like that. Close up the door. And now we have that tab. So what you get is you get a set of uh, looks like jackhammers here, done in silver. You get a set of drills. You get a set of like pile drivers. And you get a set of these, which I think are for making mashed potatoes. I think. Anyway, these just tab right on. You can have that going on if you want, or you can have that going on if you want, or you can have that going on if you want, or you can have that going on if you want. So, totally up to you what you want to do. You have options, as always, options are good. So. Another accessory that is included is an optional face here. You get more of an angry face if you want. And to swap the faces, it's pretty simple. You just raise up the top of his head here. And you just want to kind of get in here. It does take a little bit of doing because the faces do sit in there quite securely. So you might have to, you know, work that a bit. But it's doable. It's totally doable. Totally, totally doable. Really, it is. Come on. 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 There it goes. <laughs> Takes a little bit of finagling, but you can get it. Now you just take a new face, and now everything wants to fight me. There we go. And you can just peg that on. There we go. And now he's angry swipe. There you go. So you have that option as well, if you want. And the last accessory that is included with this guy is his jetpack. Let's see. Done in red with some silver and how the jetpack how the but this is where my tongue stops working. How the jetpack works is this just clips right over his backpack. So you just line this all up and just push it on. And there you go. Now he has his jetpack. Yay, jetpacks. Hey, the thing you can do if you want to do it. Another thing you can do with this jetpack as well is we can bring in MP10 here. And we can take this section here of the jetpack and flip it up. And this will just plug right into Prime's back. And you can now give Prime the jetpack if you want. So it's doing that masterpiece thing of, hey, you know that one thing that happened in that one scene of that one episode of the cartoon? Well, guess what? You can do it. So hey, it's, it's a thing, it's a thing. So that is it for the accessories. And now for comparison. Here he is with Bad Cube's Sun Surge. So you can see how their particular versions of the characters look side by side. Here he is with Masterpiece Sun Streaker. And I think they look quite nice together. I think that works out very well, in my opinion anyway. And here he is with the official Masterpiece Sideswipe. So you can see what's going on there. And as you can see, again, they are uh, going for the more cartoon look with uh, with steamroll here. Definitely a lot more uh, sleeker and slimmer in design than the official Masterpiece toy, the official ones, you know, kind of bulked out. But both are very good, very solid figures, so no matter which way you go with this, you're going to end up with a good side swipe in your collection, as far as I'm concerned anyway. It all just depends on your personal taste, your personal preferences, and what you want in your collection. Oh, and since he's here, MP10! Yay! MP10. So there you have Steamroll, um, a very nicely done figure in my opinion. Um, looks great in vehicle mode, looks great in robot mode. 
it's cool that they're going for that more current masterpiece aesthetic with the more cartoony look. I mean, some people may like that, some people may not, but that all depends on your personal tastes. Me personally, I dig it. I've had no issues whatsoever with the figure. Everything works nice and smoothly, so a very enjoyable figure to mess with as well. So all in all, I really like it. But the million dollar question is this. Are you fine with the current masterpiece side swipe or could this replace him on your shelf? Hmm? Mm hmm? Me personally, um, I think this guy is going to be on the Masterpiece shelf and the official one's going back in the box. But hey, that's just me. As always, your collection, your toys, you do whatever you want. So there you go. So if you would like this or any of Bad Cube's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Bad Cube Steamroll, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, home in your face! Hey, hey Sunstreaker, I have a question for you. What, what is it? Do you want to go for a ride? Ah! Stop it, this is not funny. This is not funny. Why, why would you do this? Why would you do this? I'm getting nauseous, seriously, put me down, put me down. You son of a petro rabbit. I do this once a week. It builds character.